Hey, so today on Handyman's Corner, we're gonna talk about motorcycle grips. Now, if you've ever ridden your motorcycle through a car wash, and I know you all have, because that's how we get them clean, your hands get slippery and they fall right off the grip. So we've got a little fix for that. Now you could just affix both your hands to the grip using the Handyman Secret Weapon duct tape. This is the mobile version. Or you could do something else. You could replace the grips, and by replacing the grips, that costs a little bit of money with the high price of gas these days. Who's got money for that? So, I'll show you a little trick. So I borrowed this bike from Hap Shaughnessy. Now he says that he trained Evil Knievel how to jump school buses with it. But I think he's just taking us all for a long ride there. Anyway, we have seen Hap Shaughnessy riding this around Possum Lake. So we do know that first gear at least works. So how to fix these grips? Like I said, you can replace the grips, or you can use these. Now these are hair bands. Your wife buys them as cat toys, leaves them all over the place, right? So if you double them up and put them over the grips, Harold, bring the camera in here for a minute. Slide them over the grips like this, roll them in place, And your hands will thank you. See, now you got extra traction, and if you don't like where they're at, you can always move the points somewhere else. So you can buy a bunch of these for $3 at any store, or you can get them from your bathroom drawer, or better still, someone else's bathroom drawer. So now we got the grips in place. What if you're like old man Sedgwick and you have arthritis? Well, working the hand grips might get a little tiring after a while. So if you, let's see where I've got it here. Let's see if I can find you one. You can find these bent up little shoehorns on that online store named after a great river. I think it's uh, Ganges, Ganges. But uh, if you look for throttle lock, Moose Thompson says you ought to be able to find them under that. You can get a four pack of them for, I don't know, $11. What this does, if you get a shoehorn that's bent just right, is you put it on the grip like that. And now you got a place to rest your wrist. See that? So instead of wrapping your fingers around the grip and keeping it going, you just rest your hand right there. Now you might have to move it up a little bit like that. But while you're riding, now you just rest your hand. And the throttle is where it is. But wait, there's more. That's not exactly cruise control. Because if your face itches, what are you going to do? You can't take your hand off the throttle. So you need cruise control. Well, this bike doesn't have any cruise control. Now, Junior Singleton found this when he was dredging up the Possum Lake for mutant clams. And we're all pretty sure it's an egg measurer. You put the egg right in there, it tells you how big the egg is. Well, Harold figured out that if you put this on your grips, like that, tighten it up, Then when you're rolling along and you want to set your speed, you put this up against the brake lever and let go. And see, your throttle is set. So it's like a poor man's cruise control. Hey, don't knock it before you pry it, as Mike Hammer always says. So now you got your throttle locked, what are you gonna do at a, at a stop sign? Apply a little pressure, it slides, and now it's off the brake handle. Pretty nifty, huh? Glad we thought of it. All right, so now we've taken care of the grips. Now what you've got is a bunch of cat toys being used as grips. You've got an old shoehorn being used as your rest for your hand. And now you've got cruise control. So you can set the cruise control 
and totally jump Possum Lake with this. Now Moose Thompson says you can find one of these under throttle lock on that uh, Ganges website. Uh, I think it's Ganges, wouldn't be Mississippi. One of those rivers. Anyway, try it at home, see what you think. And we got one more thing here. Let's say you got bugs all over the windshield. This stuff, which I found under a kitchen sink, is a perfect thing as a bug getter offer. Now this is just furniture polish, and it's not the good brand furniture polish. So what we're gonna do is spray this on the windshield, and wipe it off. and it leaves you with a no streak shine. Also works on mirrors. Oh, some of those bugs really got on there good. So remember guys, if the ladies don't find you handsome, at least let them find you handy. Now if my wife is watching, I'll be coming home right after the meeting. I'll be on two wheels. So grab your ice hockey helmet and let's go for a spin. For the rest of you, keep your bike off the ice.